Here we are. Let's have a look at all your Valentine's Day drawings. And we're starting with Mary Aris, who says, Hi, shoot, here are my heart drawings for Valentine's Day. Love hearts. Sweet boy, Beamer. I like this ring here with a little heart on it. I've, I've, not, I've not seen that before, actually. That's uh, interesting. Hey. <laughs> Mary here, what are the keys to a girl's heart? But poetry, roses and chocolates. Okay to critique on this show. That's, uh, that's great for Mary. <laughs> now, all you guys out there, you know what you need to do. Uh, the Apple of My Eye, Valentine for My Husband, Scott Manis by Anastasia. I love these little apples. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> crazed with love. This here is a teddy bear with a heart that I drew a few years ago by Scott Manis, drawn with pet artist brush pens. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Can't go wrong with teddy bears on Valentine's Day either, can you? And uh, Assorted Hearts by Scott Man is drawn with pit artist brush pens. I don't know those pens. Yeah, it's very sweet, very cute. Now, are they floating or are they flowers growing out of a pot? Yeah. The Depth of Feeling by Joshua, age 14. Oh, that's very deep, isn't it? Yes, burning love, flame, scorching, arrow. Is that a kind of a flaming arrow, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously got some deep feeling for something or someone there, I think. Uh, close up a heart tree by Ruth. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, and you're kind of within a heart. And uh, I wonder whether you could you could bring the tree. I know you kind of want to bring a root, roots of a tree kind of out that way. But I wonder if you kind of brought it in really, really tight. So it was just kind of sprouting out of a rock or something. Then you'd get the full heart shape, wouldn't you? As well as the heart shapes on the leaves. All oh, these next things, they keep very bothersome aren't they uh the heart tree by ruth age 12 drawn with stadler tri plus fine liners and the little heart down here <laughs> it's like one of the leaves has fallen down that's great again can you see that you know that you could bring that trunk down into a fine point it's just a thought uh heart drawing with marcus by jonathan age five that's gorgeous jonathan well done and a squiggly heart by Elijah H. D. That's, <laughs> that's very, very squiggly. Uh, Incredible Hulk with heart-shaped muscles by Hannah, age seven. Underneath all that monstrous greenness, you know, lots of heart, you know, hearts are beating away. He's, he's, he's really a bit soft. Oh, Desiree, Desiree Lee, me and my boyfriend here to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's great. I love this expression. But both these expressions, she's so sort of happy. And he's going, ugh! <laughs> That's great fun. There's a lot of uh, expression in there. That's really good. Shoot, my simple brain got confused and I drew a Valentine crab picture. But I think even crustaceans have special Valentines, don't you? By Chris R. I think that's gorgeous. Holding claws. <laughs> Such a simple, knowing smile. My other half, they complete me. So cheesy. Done on canvas with acrylic and Sharpies. Hi, Katie. That's very funny. You're my Tetris. Getting all the little blocks to fit and to, to make the, uh, yeah, to make up the whole. That's really, really funny idea there. Well done, I like that. Hi, Shu, this is a repaired heart that I drew. Let me say, this roses are red, violets are blue. This week's drawing task was the worst of them all. No hard feelings. By Anad. Well, Anad, actually, you've done a really good idea there. And uh, and I think that's what I want to do with the Wednesday Drawing Show, is to kind of push you to do things that you wouldn't normally do. And you, you might not particularly enjoy it, but you might learn something along the way. And I think you have. That's a really good idea, a repaired heart. You know, it's broken, stitched together. You see, you're using your brain. So, uh, well done. I really like, do like that. Uh, and a robot heart, let me remind worst drawing task of them all. So this is Anna to go. Where again, it's a good idea. And uh, you might not like the theme, but you've come up trumps and done really, really well. So uh, robot heart is a really good idea. I'll, I'll maybe steal that next year. Hi, this is my Valentine card. I hope you like it. Greetings from Zora. Okay, to quit on the show. Sorry for the cut at the right side. Don't worry about that, Zora. And Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? Yeah. I really like that. Uh, I love this gentle, gentle expression on the face and just hanging out hearts to dry. Are they hanging out or, or is it a decoration? I don't know. It could be hanging out to dry or it could be... Actually, hanging out hearts to dry, that might have different meaning. <laughs> but uh, hanging out hearts out for decoration. Yeah, that's sweet. And, and look, there's this nice bit of shadow there in the background. That's great. Really well thought out. 
OK to quit on the show. Hi, Shu. I sent you that point. Set your car for Christmas. I hope your family enjoyed it. We did. Uh, here's me testing out some heart designs in my sketchbook done with pen, Copic markers and Stadler fine liners. That's what I like to see. Just trying out all sorts of ideas. I love that. It's kind of a, like a, a lattice, like an apple, apple pie, isn't it? But this, look at that. That's fantastic. All kind of like it's cut out of the page, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to steal that idea. <laughs> I really like that. And again, that's a kind of, you know, a woven, you're going for this woven theme, aren't you? And, uh, and that's almost got that kind of robot look from the previous one about it in a way it's kind of folded up paper oh, mm. you can interpret that in many different ways and lots of little ideas that's what I like to see, just ideas ideas are what I really like and I'd like, love to see a page like this, Sweet Swans of Love of Stratford, OK to crit on the show Mary Aris. Uh, Mary, I think you come from Stratford, I think Mary and uh, and you have the, the swans there, don't you? Yeah, and look, can you see there's the heart shape? Oh, lovely. And these are probably famous scenes of Stratford. I don't know Stratford that well, I'm afraid. Valentine's Day card doesn't say who it's from. That's a shame. But uh, these are really nice shiny hearts. They've got a real kind of glow to them, haven't they? And that's a nice typeface too. I'm sorry the way this... Um, Previous and next keep flicking up as I go around. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Valentine's Day card by Selly Sweetie 213. Yeah, the happy, I like that up at the top there. And it's kind of raining, it's raining hearts, isn't it? Lots of things going. Happy Valentine's Day. Lots of different kind of things going on in there. Great. Dear shoot, me and my sister both love the Wednesday drawing show. Good for you. And here is another Valentine's day card by Sally Sweetie 1920 it's almost like a, a a plane has gone past and done a loop the loop and left this sort of trail of smoke with full of hearts behind it and all these balloons floating up in the sky lovely I like that and lovey dovey world by Tia aged eight from Tom <laughs> from Tom K T I A. hi Tom how are you <laughs> There's a beautiful lovey dovey woo that we're seeing world things. <laughs> All these little hearts and things. That's lovely. And I think those are wings, aren't they? It's a kind of a butterfly. Lovely. And that's a kind of a hearty person. Hmm. I made a heart with an Allah symbol inside it. Uh huh. That's really interesting. Uh, uh, I know I'm, I'm going to want to do a thing about tigers soon. And. Uh, and I know Islam doesn't um, really go for images and does kind of typography an awful lot more. And uh, and, I know, and I know there's a there's a symbol for tigers, and I'm going to kind of mention that when I come to. I'm not quite sure when I'm going. We'll be doing tigers eventually. That's really interesting, Emre. Thank you. I'm not sure if the person who drew those and put them up on Shutterstock has then gone and put them there so um, there's potential there's potential copyright issues here anyway uh, I'm not quite sure who put those up so uh, I didn't A Love Heart by Jenny D keep up the great work Shoe. Uh, give me great tips on drawing and you're really inspirational well thank you Jenny I love these really there's a really simple kind of wings floating on the side I like that it's just a kind of a, 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 an abstract splash of wings on the side it could be kind of streamers from a party, or, or or it could be somebody getting undressed behind there and kind of tossing their clothes over the top like it was a changing screen. Kind of, you can read so much into a drawing, can't you? Uh, that's lovely. I like that. It looks kind of like an inflatable toy, and that's kind of where you put blow the air in there, and it's got the sort of the heart bunged in there to stop all the air coming out. That's my weird interpretation. <laughs> this is a card to my granddaughter. The conversation hearts form a message sort of messy watercolor still have lots of love. you are special be happy lots of love dear girl that's lovely i like that and you can you know use these uh you know sweethearts to 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 to, to spell a message out that's that's clever <laughs> i'll steal that next year as well <laughs> oh pink and lime green whimsical heart by peggy festling that's gorgeous isn't it gorgeous. i love all these kind of twists and turns and, and and then all the patterns i like that a lot i like that a lot peggy and uh, that brings us to the end of the hearts let's see what else we have on the uh, upload page um 
we got my name is Nick Giorocca and this is a picture of my larger sketchbook. I'm 13 and I love you to create this picture. I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. What I like to see there, Nick, is that you are developing your own kind of pencil style and you're, you're trying you're trying to draw naturally rather than copying, um, you know, other people's cartoons and things like that. So, you know, you're kind of breaking out from, from just straight copying, which is really good to see. Now here's a close up of another one of my sketches, which is kind of cute, isn't it? And it, it, it's... It, it's kind of cartoony, but it's not, if you know what I mean. Um, so you're kind of putting your own style in there. Here's a close-up of one of the sketches from my sketchbook, which is, which is cute. Um, and you, you're not really hiding faces, but but having the big hats like that then makes the characters more cute. Keep working at it, Nick. I'm 13, boy, and I'm from Romania. I love your drawers, and I try to draw something. Yes, bad photo camera. <laughs> well, never mind. Uh, and this is kind of from the, the, it's the year of the snake, isn't it? Yeah. And you've turned it into kind of a snaky dragon. And, uh, and, 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 and I don't know whether you looked at my, um, you know, how to draw tubes in a snake-like kind of way. And you kind of made this uh, look, look kind of me mechanical, like I'd done with the crabs last week as well. So, yeah, I like that. Nice, nice lettering there, snake. Good. This is Mary Aris again. Hi, Shu. Here's my mermaid. All getting pretty under the sea. That's very gorgeous. I like all your little details that you put in, Mary. All the rings and bracelets and things like that. Great. Uh, this is from your caricature task, and it's me as Skoda. <laughs> as Skoda. <laughs> I'm reading this shoot here. Skoda's a car. This is from your caricature task, and it's you as Yoda from Star Wars. From by Brian the art student it's okay to create hi Brian that, that's very funny <laughs> uh, that's very very funny and and I think you've actually got got something there oh, I recognize myself in there and then you've got it as, as Yoda as well cool well done the only thing I will, if you say you say it's okay to create, the only thing I will criticize is, is this book part here which I think maybe you've done all this drawing, you got a bit tired down here. So um, there's just tiny little pages, so you really want kind of lines. There's a, there's a thickness of pages here, which doesn't quite marry up with what's happening on, on, on the binding part here. So just a, go and have a look at an open book. I think I did a video on books, anyway. Um, go, and, go and get a big book and open it up and, and draw it again and, and work out what happens with the pages here because it's just not quite right. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being critical. Hi Shu, my name's Chance. I'm 10 years old. I wanted to show you my cartoon wolf. Please give me tips. Thank you. Well, I think that is pretty good. And that's a good expression you've got there. I th there's something happening with the legs here though. Um, I'm not sure what is that line there because it looks like it's a leg another leg coming out but you've already got four and so the tail I think you just need to bring this curve up there a bit more and put the tail up more over there I think so there's something happening there you might want to go and redraw it have a go have a go at redrawing it and have a think about what's going on in this area here but otherwise it's really good yeah good keep it up Joseph Stalin caricature hand drawn plus Photoshop by Matty that's Joe Stalin, isn't it? Yeah, good. And that brings us to the end of today's Sunday Gallery Review. Thank you very much, everybody who's contributed. And are you drawing crabs and robo-crabs and things from last week's show? If not, get them up on the WednesdayDrawingShow.com website so we can share them all next week. Make sure you're subscribed for the Wednesday Drawing Show. Why not check out my nearly daily vlog and see how all this gets put together. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you on the Wednesday Drawing Show. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>